viewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Vlog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to form pin tucks. Pin tucks are a decorative feature that you can find on some sewing projects. How they are formed is by pinching a fold of fabric on the right side and stitching it into place. Now I've got three different types here. The first one is where I've created pin tucks that lie quite close to each other. The second is where I've created the fold and I've sewn quite close to the folded edge. And the third is where I've made sure there's space in between each tuck. All three pin tucks are created by using a simple grid like this, where it's one centimetre or five eighths of an inch space in between each line. I'm going to be showing you how to film the first pin tuck and we're going to be using this grid here. So we need to get a pin, place it into the first line, you're going to miss the second line and then bring your pin through to the third line. So you're basically pinching and then you have a line in which to follow, making sure you put your pin through the first line and it comes through the third line. I'll just put one more, pin through, making sure it comes through the second line and then turn my work over, position the pins to keep the tuck in place and then all that is required of me is to take it to the sewing machine and stitch along this line. I've stitched the pin tuck straight down and I'll show you what it looks like when you can see the grid and then I'll form another pin tuck. So we're going to put a pin in the first line, miss the second and get into the third line and just pinch your work all the way down, making sure that the second line is central. Place a pin, place another pin and you take it to your sewing machine again and then you do another row of stitching. I'm now going to show you how to do the narrow pin tucks and it's the same method as we did for the first one. Again you put a pin into your first line and it should come through on your third line and you're pinching your work and again do the same And then you bring your work over, just flip it over, and then put your pins into position. But this time, I won't be sewing on the drawn line. I'll be sewing three millimeters from the edge. So I'll be doing a straight stitch all the way down the fold. For the narrow pin tucks, we sewed three millimeters from the folded edge. And I'll just turn that over and that's created that very fine narrow pin tuck. We need then to move on to the next line and doing the same thing again where I'll just be pinching and then placing my pin in position. So I'm just using one line here because I want it to be close together and I want it to be narrow all the way down and then it would be a case of fold it under and then do another line of stitching all the way down on the near the fold. The third and final pin tuck is a tuck and a space, tuck and a space. So how you form that is very similar to the first one where you'll be getting your pin, placing it into the first, making sure you're creating a fold and then bringing it through to the third and then you've got an alignment in which to follow put your pin through now you've created a fold and then turn your work over and position your pins and then you do a line of stitching along that line the pin tuck is now sewn in place 
so I'll bring it to the right side now in order for us to create a space we need to miss one line I'll just turn my work over and then again I'm going to form the fold putting a pin into the first and it comes through the third pinch and then create your fold and place your pins in position and then one more and fold it over position your pins and then it's ready for another line of stitching with the space in between each tuck. I'm going to give you a little tip here. If you're thinking of using pin tucks in your sewing project and you want to do a whole sleeve or a bodice with any form of pin tucking, pin tuck your fabric first, then place your pattern piece on top of your fabric and then cut around. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Vlog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.